Hey, good morning everybody. Mark Bosley here. How you doing? Happy hump day. Happy Wednesday to you guys. We're about to hit midway point of April. It's crazy, man. It's getting ready to be summer here. It goes straight from spring to summer here. There's like no, you know, cool part of, of, the, of, the, of the outside uh, air, the season. Anyways, it goes straight to 90 degrees here, but that's welcome to the south, right? Anyways, I want to make a little video today, guys, kind of an inspirational kind of video. You know, I want to stay tuned in. I want to stay connected. You know, I want to stay uh, in front of the team that, that we're trying to build right here and try to inspire, encourage you guys to do things that I'm doing. And the only way to do that is to do them. Okay, I'm going to talk about a few different things. It won't be a very long video. Just kind of give you guys some food for thought as to where I came from and, and where I am now. Okay. This is where I actually worked at right here, guys. This is Intergraph right here. This is the name of my Intergraph right here is the name of my company. I was a heating and air conditioning man right here. In other words, I took care of the heating and air in these five floors right here. Okay, that's a little restaurant in the bottom of our building. They were software developers, is what they were. I was not a software developer. I was a maintenance man. Okay, so I just drove around and kept all the heat and all the air conditioning going for all the people and changing all the air filters and stuff like that. So I did have a pretty good job. It had Blue Cross, and I was making, you know, about $26 an hour, which is a livable income for a single man where I live, okay? I'm not more than a high school graduate, guys. I'm not an educated man. I've not been to formal schooling or anything like that. And I learned my trade primarily through trial and error, you know, just working on something and then figuring out how to fix it and then fixing it. You know, and then it got easier and easier because pretty much all heating and air conditioners systems are the same. They got heat pumps, you know, air, they got strips. And, you know, it's just all it's all the same. It's like anything. You know, all cars are pretty much the same. They're all reciprocating motors. They're all piston pounders, and they've got all sorts of emissions, you know, bolted onto them. But anyways, you know, kind of relate that to internet marketing, guys. It, all internet marketing businesses online are pretty much the same. They have a different product or a different service. But as far as promoting them and getting people to see what you're doing, trying to get out in front of as many people as you possibly can, all that's the same. All, it's all about advertising. It's all about exposure. It's all about branding yourself. And it's all about two key things that are going to be very, very important. The most important things that are going to be important to your online business, uh, income-producing activities, are conversation with people and follow-up. Those are the two most important things. Guys, you can worry about being as techy as you can possibly be. You can worry about creating blogs. You can worry about doing all sorts of different things. But the two most important things that you're going to find with marketing online is conversation with people. Okay, A lot of people don't like to do that. Maybe they're an introvert and they don't like to speak to people you know, unless they actually know them. I can get that. I understand that. I once was sort of an introvert. I mean, I was, it was 5,000 people working in this building, so I had to learn very quickly how to speak to people, you know, in such a way that, you know, I could service them, I could help them, I could provide them, even if I didn't like them, okay? But when I said inspirational, I, I meant to say that, you know, a lot of times people, people have a full-time job when they start working online. I incidentally got laid off here. Okay, we downsized, and, and these are a bunch of buildings in the background that you don't see right here. We had a huge campus, and they s consolidated into one big building, okay? But, uh, <clears throat> uh, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. But anyways, when people join an online business, a lot of them are still working a full-time job, okay? And they need to structure their time each and every day, even on the weekends, so that they can spend a little bit of time with their online business. Whether it's an hour a day or two hours a day through the week, you know, and maybe some more time on the weekends, four or five hours. But you've got to structure that time. You've got to document it. You've got to have it written down. You've got to have written down what it is you want to do during that free time that you have because you won't always have that time. So when you sit down, maybe you have an hour and a half or two hours, you want to dive in and do exactly what it is you need to be doing instead of scrolling on Facebook and doing all sorts of other things that are really unrelated to your internet marketing business, or you're going to struggle. You're going to have failure, okay, guys? When I got laid off right here, guys, I, I knew that it would be hard. It was, I was a 47-year-old man, and I was already doing internet marketing part-time, and I was making a little bit of money because I was really focused on what I was doing in my off time. I struggled with personal relationships, and I struggled with outside activities, hand, hanging, hanging out with friends. But I knew, I knew deep down inside that I wanted 
to be my own boss. And I knew that there would come a time, as long as I stayed focused on the goal, focused on the, the finish line, that the things that I were trying to achieve would come if I just stayed consistent every day, every day, every day, you know, even though I was still working a full-time job. Sure, I was tired. Sure, I was very tired, but I was still persistent. I was determined. I was a motivated guy. I've always been that way, okay? You guys know I ride a bicycle every single day. You don't ever see anybody ride with me. Uh, typically, most people go, well, I want to buy a bicycle. I want to start riding my bike, and they ride once a week. Or they join a gym, and they go once or twice a week, okay? Guys, I am undeniably 110% focused on what it is I want to do. I don't come home after my day's job and watch the hockey game. I don't watch the football game. I don't watch the NASCAR race. And I am a sports fanatic. Okay, I knew that that would hold me back, so I just got rid of my TV. I don't even own a TV. And what happened was all that free time that now I created for myself, I focused working with my online business, and my results went up very, very quickly. Okay, So you've got to get yourself in a scheduled mode, daily goals, very consistent. You know, every single day, write down those things. You know, stay focused on what it is you're doing. You can't go out as much like you used to. You can't spend as much time playing on Facebook. You can't keep sitting in front of the TV. You can't keep doing those things that are not income-producing activities and expect your online business to succeed because it will not. It's hard enough when you give it 110% to have success, okay? And when I say success, I want to attach a number to that, okay? I wanted to make $1,000 a week after taxes, you know, bring home money, working, you know, 10 or 15 hours a week. I was willing to do some work, but I didn't want to work 40, 50, 60 hours a week to make $1,000 a week. I do that now. I do that very easily, and, you know, I do, I do that many times over, and I only work you know, in the morning times, you guys will see me make a video. Maybe in the evening times, you'll see me make a video. And I reach out and I contact some people during the course of the day. But pretty much, you don't see me. You see me on my bicycle. You see me out having fun. And it's a result of me doing, in the beginning, setting aside that time, that scheduled time, focusing, being consistent, building those relationships, talking to people, and following up, okay? If you're not going to do that, you're really in the wrong business, guys. I don't mean to beat you up. I don't mean to say that your business is not going to work. It's that you're not working it correctly, okay? You can join business after business after business, okay? And if you keep doing the same things you're doing and something's not working, something's got to change, guys. You have to change. The business is probably a good model. It's probably got a good comp plan. It's probably got some good products and services, but it's not working because you're not working it the way it's meant to be worked, okay? I don't mean to be ugly when I say that, but I'm saying that anything that's worthwhile is going to take some work. You know, I'm a 54-year-old man, and I can outrun and I can outride pretty much anybody that's 30 years old and older. Yeah, there's going to be exceptions with athletes out there, but the average person, the average man, they can't come close to me. And I'm 54. I'll be 55 this year, okay? What I've started to do is I've started to implement some weight uh, lifting activity into my days now that I have more free time because my business kind of takes care of itself. Since I, at the very beginning of my, my online business, I started to do the things I was supposed to do. So now they've come to fruition and it's provided me with some more time to do some of that fun stuff, you know, that I have more time freedom, okay? And it is about a lifestyle, guys. It is about having time freedom, okay? But you have to prepare for that right there. It doesn't just come magically, guys. It doesn't. You have to learn how to do YouTube videos. You have to learn how to connect with people. You have to learn how to post on Craigslist. You have to learn how to contact people on Twitter. There's lots of different areas online that you need to learn how to do, unless you're just going to do paid traffic forever. And by the way, I also do paid traffic. But while those things begin to come together, you find that you have so much free time, and you're going, wow, what do I do now with all this free time, you know? Because you set the ground rules, you set the basics, you set the standards, and you stuck to them every single day, and, and, and finally they came around and started working, and you get to walk away from your job like this right here, okay, guys? I just wanted to pop on this morning with you guys. And, um, I've been doing so much, you know, with my online business and, and, and building conversations with people. Instead of just posting in Facebook groups, I actually reach out and I connect with them one-on-one -on -one now, you know, and that 
part of the business right there, that part of the advertising is really beginning to get traction and take off. So I know in four to six months, I know based on what I did in the past that this thing is, is really going to take off. This business, the Conversion Pros right here, is in its third year. Most businesses begin to take off in their third year because the first two, they're kind of new and people are kind of sketchy. They're kind of touch and go and they're building a foundation. They're building their, their platform. They're, they're, they're making sure that they're trust, trustworthy. They're making sure that they can pay on a weekly basis like they say they do. They're making sure that the payment processes are working. And now that everything is in place for that company, which is still new at, 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 at three years old, this is the third year. Now people are beginning to see that, hey, this this might be something that is going to grow very quickly and it will like a lot of other businesses became popular you know after about their third fourth and fifth year this one is about ready to take off and I want to be part of that okay and I've, I've positioned myself in this business right here in this particular business of the conversion pros so that when it does take off here and everybody starts trying to get on board they're gonna go well I know that guy's a part of it I know that person's a part of it I want to join that person and so I want you guys to position yourself by doing the things each and every day that you're supposed to do, even if you have a full-time job or a part-time job, okay, set aside that time each day, do those necessary uh, uh, actions that you're supposed to do, prospect every day, follow up every day, have those conversations every day, and I'm telling you guys, if you keep doing that, you can't help but have success, okay, you just can't help it, okay. But if you're looking to join an online business and you want to talk to me about my training group that I have and about how to, how to advertise and promote and reach out and talk to people on a daily basis, if you look in the description box below, I'd love to have you take my business out for free. I'm going to give it away to you free. That's one of the key, key options. The key things that we're doing right now is we're giving away the business for free so that others will be able to have it and see what we do and see what we have you know, before they ever even have to purchase it or anything. But we'll give it to you for a seven-day free trial. Take it out. See if it's a good fit for you guys. You know, you never know. But guys, I appreciate you watching my video, and I'll see you on the next one, okay? Look in the description box below, guys. Please like and share my video right here. Hit the big red subscribe button, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.